Good afternoon and welcome to Boston Asian Radio and TV English Daily News Today. I am your host, Lei. Here's a look at the top stories making headlines today. Woman is awarded $1.2 billion in revenge porn lawsuit. A mass, family's outing at a popular NH waterfall turns tragic as mother drowns trying to rescue son. Boston police cracking down on rolling parties to improve quality of life in neighborhoods. Lawyer for Kendra Lara looks to dismiss charges in Jamaica plane crash. Google tests an AI assistant that offers life advice. Woman is awarded $1.2 billion in revenge porn lawsuit. A Texas woman was awarded $1.2 billion in damages last week after she sued her former boyfriend and accused him of sending intimate images of her to her family, friends and co-workers from fake online accounts. The woman, who was identified only by the initials DL in court documents, sued her former boyfriend, Marks Jamal Jackson, claiming he had psychologically and sexually abused her by distributing so-called revenge porn, a term for sexually explicit photos or videos of someone that are shared without consent. He also did not appear in court Wednesday when a jury in Houston ordered him to pay $200 million for past and future mental anguish and $1 billion in punitive damages. Brad Guild, a lawyer for DL, said that he did not expect the full $1.2 billion to be paid out, but that he hoped it would serve as a deterrent for others. Amass, family's outing at a popular NH waterfall turns tragic as mother drowns trying to rescue son. A mother drowned trying to rescue her 10-year-old son as he was pulled by the current at a popular waterfall, New Hampshire authorities said. An older son who jumped in to help became lodged in boulders and was rescued by his father, a Massachusetts police officer. A child slipped and fell into a pool and could not escape the fast, circulating current, Sechd. Heidi Murphy of the State Fish and Game Department said in a news release. Bagley jumped into the river to help her child and began to immediately have trouble, she said. The father searched for Bagley and found her in water below the falls, police said. He began CPR, but she could not be revived, Murphy said. The father then made it over to the son trapped by the boulders and pulled him to safety. That son suffered injuries and was taken to a hospital, police said. Boston Police Cracking Down on Rolling Parties to Improve Quality of Life in Neighborhoods The Boston Police Department is cracking down on large groups congregating in public areas throughout the city where they're engaging in reckless activities with disregard for public safety, including drag racing, fireworks, and loud music. Boston Police say Operation Quiet Streets, a multi-agency effort, is aimed at addressing the disturbances caused by auto groups, off-road vehicles and scooters. The crackdown was extremely successful on Sunday, police said, with eight arrests made, four summons issued, 57 moving citations, two parking tickets, three scooters seized, six vehicles towed, eight speaker cars seized and one gun recovered. The areas targeted were some of the most heavily impacted, police said, including Franklin Park, 650 American Legion Highway, Old Road, Von Hillen Street, and Dorchester Avenue. Lawyer for Kendra Lara looks to dismiss charges in Jamaica plane crash. A lawyer for Boston City Councilor Kendra Lara is seeking to dismiss the charges she's facing in connection with a June car crash that injured her seven-year-old son and damaged a home in Jamaica Plain. The city councilor has pleaded not guilty to charges that include negligently operating a motor vehicle, assault and battery on a child with injury, operating a motor vehicle with a suspended license, operating an unregistered motor vehicle, and operating an uninsured motor vehicle. The next court date comes after Boston's September 12 preliminary municipal election, when Lara will face District 6 challengers William King and Benjamin Weber in her race for re-election. Despite calls for her resignation, Lara has emphasized her focus on City Hall while her case plays out in court. Google tests an AI assistant that offers life advice. Earlier this year, Google locked in an accelerating competition with rivals like Microsoft and OpenAI to develop AI technology, was looking for ways to put a charge into its artificial intelligence research. So in April, Google merged DeepMind, a research lab it had acquired in London, with Brain, an artificial intelligence team it started in Silicon Valley. Four months later, the combined groups are testing ambitious new tools that could turn generative AI. The technology behind chatbots such as OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's own Bard into a personal life coach. The project was indicative of the urgency of Google's effort to propel itself to the front of the AI pack and signaled its increasing willingness to trust AI systems with sensitive tasks. Stay tuned for more updates on Boston news as it develops.